apprentice should be arriving any moment. Jared, where are you? Well, in the meantime... Oh, who's that? Uh, rapping upon my door. Oh, oh it's uh, Jared. Hey, Dan, what's up? I'm here. I'm here for the interview. Um, I'm Dr. Gasp. Dot. Please okay. come in and sit. <coughs> so what's going on? I'm just, uh, carving a jack-o'-lantern. Uh-huh. Would you like to help me? I mean, yeah. I was hoping you would help me. Yeah, for sure. Let's, uh... Oh, good. J Jerry, before I slice into this, did you bring your goggles? Uh, what goggles? What do you mean? We're carving jack-o'-lanterns. Goggles is a very important part of it. Don't you worry. Alright. I, I think I, I may have something back here. Oh, yes, I do. You also have to make a lot of noise when you do it. Like, what kind of, like, <clears throat> uh, like heavy breathing? And... <sighs> yes, you're getting it right. <sighs> getting it right. Oh, oh there we go, oh, the first piece. Uh... Oh, wait. Oh, thank you. Yes, perfect. Wow. This is great. So, so Dan, can you, uh, can you describe your, your Dr. Gasp persona to me? I don't know, Dan, but I am I am Dr. Gasp, yes. I love Halloween. 365 days of the year is Halloween for me. Ah, awkward so, sinus. <laughs> Maybe you just need some candy. Wait, oh. Look, look what the assortment I brought. Wow, thank you. These three different kinds. Take the one on the other side. <laughs> that one. Take yes. five. That is my favorite candy bar. So, Doctor, what's your, uh, what's your doctorate in? Um, Halloweeniology. What does that, uh, what does that entail? It entails haunting people, carving jack-lanterns, shining sharp knives, and making sure the reflection goes into the eyes of the person you're shining it against. Can you, are you getting that? Yes, he got it. You, he, you got it. Should I make it smile or frown? You know what I think you need? I need this. I think uh, you would right. feel more comfortable as my assistant wearing this. What are your plans for October? Well, I'm doing a, a, a tour of uh, New England playing uh, Halloween songs for the kids. You know, I figure, hey, it's the 13th year, let's do this right. The 13th year of... This is the 13 pound pumpkin. I got it on purpose. 13 years of what? Of, uh, playing, uh, Halloween music all over New England. Especially in the Somerville area. I, I'm gonna do this part fast. Woo! Wow, look at me go. Whoa. There it is. Look at that. In all its glory. Now are you ready for your turn? Why don't you uh, start to dig? And uh, would, would you mind if I played you uh, a song? Oh, I'd love that. Okay. Oh, let me... <clears throat> let me go back here. Um, Probably easier. Okay. Okay. This song is uh, called Witch Drive Road. It takes place in my hometown of South Baroque, Maine. Thank 
lanterns and you can go now fill your bag up with candy corn, corn, corn. Check all your ruffles on the next morn. It's getting late. You're on which not Candy cigarettes for your nerves. Coming along, I still got a little, uh... A little left to scoop? Yeah. So, Doctor, who, who are the Eeks? Oh, that's my band. Your band? Yeah, yeah, they live in uh, Dover, New Hampshire. New Hampshire? Yes, absolutely. That would be, um... Uh, juggernaut Jim. Eerie Mike Effenberger. And Nailbiter Nick Feneff. What kind of music do you play? Is it all original? Are you doing any covers? It's mostly all original uh, Halloween music that Dr. Gasp wrote. Uh -huh. And I, I'm Dr. Gasp. Yeah. But then we, we play... We play one of my favorite songs here. You know what? I was, I was first inspired by this record right here. What's that? Monster Mash. Sounds of Terror. Monster Mass, written by Bobby Boris Pickett, who lived in Somerville. Ah. Mm hmm. Be buried alive in the Headless Horseman, my favorite story of all time. All right. I think this, uh, this pumpkin's looking pretty good. What do you think? You have done a beautiful job. Oh, thank you. It means a lot. Good job. <laughs>